Welcome to Flash Tutorial 72, Dancing Snow People Part 2. Naturally, it's a follow up to Flash Tutorial 71, which was Dancing Snow People Part 1. That's what I have opened on my computer now. Make sure all the layers are locked. Select the layer below the Action Script layer, insert a layer, and call it Firework. F I R W O K 1. Fireworks 1. Make sure you select frame 1. Pick up the oval tool. I want a white for my stroke and a white for my fill. With my oval tool selected, I'm on 100% and I'm going to make hold my shift down and make a teeny circle. There it is. And you can see how small it is compared to the Christmas trees and that sort of thing. Pick up your selection tool, highlight that little circle, modify, convert it to a symbol, make sure a movie clip is selected, and call it F I R E Fire W O R K 1 underscore M C. Firework 1 underscore M C. If I double click on it, that's it right there. That puts me inside this movie clip. Now, let's go to a boat 200%. Pick up your selection tool, highlight that little firework, pick up the modify, convert it to a symbol, call this spark, S P A R K underscore MC spark just one spark there it is selection tool go on it till you get those crosshairs and move it up and on this times 200 I'm moving it about a little more than a centimeter and a half then make sure I got my free transform tool click on that center dot and put that center dot down here Selection tool, highlight it, open your alignment panel, transform, and here put in 30. Don't hit an enter. Don't hit the enter sign. Come down here and click. One, two, do, 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 you get that ring of circles. Close that. Select that whole thing modify it convert it to a symbol call it sparkles s p a r k l s underscore m c get your selection tool get the crossed hairs right click copy so i'm copying that whole circle lock this layer insert a layer and because these are labeled 1, 2, that's okay for this because we're just going to be putting layers of this on. Select that layer. Come down, right click, paste in place. Pick up your free transform tool. Hold the shift down. And expand it a little bit. And th that's why we made it a movie clip. Because when you make it a movie clip, it'll it will reference to this point when you expand it. Okay, lock that. Make another layer. Select frame one. We still have the copy, so right click, paste in place again. Holding the shift down. Again, I have my free transform tool still selected. Go O2 there. And I think I want to do one more, so let's make this 100%. Lock that layer. Insert a final layer. Come down here, paste in place. Holding the shift down and that's what I have. Unlock all the layers. Come down here, right click, select all. So you should see four, one, two, three, four. Find the cross here somewhere, right click, copy. Now we've copied all them, them layers. Lock all these layers, insert a layer, double click on it, F I R W K 
Okay, firework. Enter. And I'm going to click on the eyeball so I can't see anything. And I'm going to click on this first frame. Right click, paste in place, and that's the firework. So now we can delete these lower layers. So hold your control button down. Right click, delete layers, and we have this firework. get my selection tool it's still a bunch of pieces while they're all selected go up to modify convert it to a symbol and F I R W K as long as it's not the same words underscore MC we're all right so now I have this one unit go up to about frame 45 each uh, let's go up to frame 55 insert keyframe and that brought this whole entire thing up here if we drop this down to 25 percent we can see my 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 whole stage pick your free transform tool and make that fireworks big like that that's as big as we're going to let it go actually you can make it bigger than the screen if you want like that that's up to you leave it up to you but we're going to go to there that's as big as I'm going to let them get then go back to frame one and make it as small as it can get there it is there and click somewhere here in the middle create a classic tween so now we have this going on and somewhere around frame 40 41 I'm going to insert a keyframe going to select that last frame 55 again open up my panel my properties panel I need my free I need my selection tool under style under color effects I want to do alpha and I want to make the alpha zero so what's going to happen is it's going to fade out so it's going to start at small get bigger and then fade out let's click here and select all these frames wait to the end and let's move them ahead it's on 55 let's take it up to about 85 somewhere around there and that will give us a delay when it comes on because there's nothing in here right click here copy layer I'm going to copy that layer I'm going to come down to my library down the bottom here make a new movie clip F I R W K 2 underscore M C enter Go inside this firework 2 click here right click paste layer and that I can get rid of this, this bottom layer delete this bottom layer now I got this up there and I'm going to just click on this and drag this back to there so I just extended the time for that one while we got that selected, while we got this highlighted, open the properties panel under style, go for tint and leave that a hundred, tint a hundred, leave red a hundred or two fifty five and drop these two down and that will give me a reddish and I want that same color here. So go here, make sure it's highlighted, open that properties panel, click on it, tint, there's that red tint, it saved it for us. And this last one here, its opacity is zero, but let's make sure that the tint is still red. I'll click on it, even though it's not here, there it is. I want to select tint this time and there's it's red now I'm going to do that last move and make a firework 3 and a firework 4 then I'll get back to you I'm back on my firework number 4 and uh, things you can do like you can expand these you could you could click here and, and grab that and move it up and that'll give it more time so you can play around with their with how long and their time go 
back to scene one. Uh, this is already right here, firework number one. We know that. So lock that layer. Put a firework two layer. F I R W K two. And while you have that selected, open your select frame one. Let's go down to 50%. Let's bring in firework number two. I'm going to put that one here. Lock that layer. Insert layer. You know what this is? Firework three. And select that one. Bring in the firework number three. I'm just going to put it there for a minute. Let's bring it down here. And one more firework four. And bring that one on the stage. And let's see what we have. I'll put that way over here. And let's give that a little test. These two I want to bring closer, and this one I want to bring over. Okay, so unlock them all. It's the easiest way to do it. These, click this one, bring it up. Click the get the cross here, move it over here, put them up in the sky. This one, put it down here, and this one over here. Try that. Where did that go? There it is. Control, test movie. You see how they fade out, watch. They'll fade out at the end. I may have to adjust that alpha on them. The white ones kind of fades out, but the other ones don't. So let's go back to firework number two and probably because I moved it and let's just go to the very end here open it up and make sure to click on it click on it highlight it make sure the alpha so go in the alpha make it zero that's better and that was fireworks number three next double click on it we're in firework three. Let's go to that last frame. Open the properties panel. Click on it. I want the alpha again. It's, it's, set, it's set to zero, but they probably weren't zero because you can see they disappear. I'll show you. We'll do number four here. And we'll go to that last frame. See, it's there. It shouldn't be there because I want the alpha to be zero. And the alpha is set to zero as soon as I go alpha. Good. Now that will work good. Let's do one more test on that. And you'll be able to see them fade out. Watch now fade out a little bit here. Okay, and because we got them staggered, they look like they're at random. Let's go back to the snowman. Pick any of the snowman ones. I'm going to go with this one here. That movie clip. And right here, the beads layer. Make sure all the layers are locked. Select the beads layer. Insert in the layer and call it music. M-U-S-I-C. And I'm going to open file. Import. Import the stage. take some time it has to get ready to import preparing to import and here's it right here mine's called rock and roll let it snow it's imported it to my my library and this is a a sound a song I I made up go up to that music layer select frame one open the library 
and drag that onto the state somewhere and you can see that it's in here and now let's give that a test rock and roll let it snow Christmas time is near rock and roll let it snow dance away your cares I'm not sure if you noticed, but the fireworks were in front of the trees and the cottage. So let's lock all the layers. Hold your control button down and select the four fireworks layers and bring them down. And the only thing we want behind them is the sky. So put them right down the bottom there. Select the house layer. Insert a layer and call it wreath. W R E A T H. Select that first frame. And I'm going to make this a little more magnified uh, 200. And on the door here, draw a wreath. There's my wreath. Do a right click. Select it all when you have it drawn modify convert it to a symbol and make sure button is selected and call it wreath w r e a t h underscore b t n and now we can pick up in my case my free transform tool and i want to make it smaller because i want it to be just on the door so with my shift down i'm going to make that wreath smaller and there's my wreath on my door and it is also a button. Make sure all the layers are locked and now we want to select all those layers and so start from the top in one motion go down make sure they're all blue get that crazy fuzzy square drag it to the right once and we brought everything up to this second frame. Open this first frame of the actions panel open your actions panel and type 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 stop open close bracket semicolon there's that wreath we just made wreath button w-r-e-a-t-h underscore b-t-n period on press small o capital p that turns blue equals function function turns purple open close bracket there's the open curly bracket for the function and right now all we're doing is tracing trace open bracket quotation wreath close quotation close bracket semicolon we're not going to look at this quite yet and well let's do that too let's look at that and close it says go to and stop small g small t capital a capital s that turns blue open bracket to close bracket semicolon and my close curly bracket and let's just go back to scene one let's unlock the wreath layer and what we gotta do is click on this and bring this back here so it's on two frames we want the path to be on two frames so click on it, drag it back. We want this, mm, nope, the host to be on two frames. These lands and this trees and these right down, all these. Highlight those four. Those are on two frames. So the snowmen are not. I want this tree on two frames. Click on it and drag it back. And this one I want, click it and drag it back. So the only things that aren't are the four snowmen will not be seen on frame one, the smoke will not be seen on frame one, and the fireworks will not be seen on frame one, but we need the sky. Now, let's, we have the wreath layer unlocked. Select frame one. click on your wreath button open the properties panel and 
because we have code it needs to have an instance name w r e a t h underscore b t n enter i'm on scene one i'm locking all my layers and i'm going to give this a try it probably will work remember i've i've taken my sound off so test movie we're on that first frame and there's the button there see that there's my wreath button when I click it the minimum I should do is do that trace statement wreath and that will prove the buttons working ah but there's the fireworks there's the snowmen dancing and there's the snowflakes and the smoke so that's all working we can go and open that first action script layer and we can comment out that there. I want to add a, another layer, so select the snowman's four layer, insert a layer, text, T-E-X-T, -E this is going to say Merry Christmas, select that first frame, and down here you're going to put some text, I'll zoom in on it for you, and if I click on it, and open it up you'll see that it's classic text static text and here under family it's old English text MT it's 27 points and depending where you are on my my those letters are green those capitals at the first of the there's their capital uppercase they're green and these are red and I got Merry Christmas from Sand and Skip and I made this back in 2010 so let's go 2012 let's put this back to 50 percent and I don't want that to be on frame one so my selection tool click on that first layer first frame of this text layer and pull it over like that so now it's not here but on this frame let's write in here uh, some little text make a text box I'm using the same classic text static text uh, let's go with uh, well let's see what 27 looks like but let's go Verdana Verdana right there and type in find F I N D find and click on the M A G I C magic button find and click on the magic button I'm actually going to make that red highlight it all and make it red C L I C K click and let's move that right over here into the middle of the stage on the bottom now let's give it one last test find and click on the magic button that's just you can tell them the wreath if you want so they're going to scroll around but eventually there's the button you'll know when you get the hand on it click and I want to move this somewhere where we can see it all I'm going to pause and move some of these snow people around and move some of this text around and I will be back I've moved both the text and the snow people let's do one last test after playing around with these and finding a good spot for them and remember there would be music coming on when this happens click and finally the snowflakes and see how those fireworks are behind everything I hope you learned something from these tutorials and I hope you use what you learn